Hi everyone, my name is Michelle Long and I'm the owner of Long for Success and I'd like to thank you for joining me today as I give you a real quick update on what's new in the Release 4 update for QuickBooks 2013. Now they added the left icon bar in QuickBooks 2013 and a lot of people didn't like the left icon bar, they didn't really like the grayscale. So we could switch by going to view, top icon bar, we could switch to the top icon bar, but still several people complained about the grayscale icons and the fact that they were hard to differentiate and see the different icons. So in the R4 update, Intuit has given us the option to go to colors on the top icon bar. To do this, you go to edit, preferences, the desktop view, my preferences tab, and check this box to switch to colored icons with a light background on the top icon bar. This does not change it on the left icon bar. But now you'll notice up on the top icon bar, I've gone from the grayscale to actual colored icons and I think this looks very nice. The other thing that people asked was we want to be able to differentiate with different files before we could change the desktop color and we lost that ability in 2013. What Intuit has done is they've given us the ability to add a colored flag up here on the top. You'll notice the title bar, they've moved the title to the center of the screen instead of over in the left upper right. I'm sorry, instead of the upper left over here, they've centered that title and now they've added a colored flag. You can change the color of the flag by clicking right here and just choose which color you want, whether it's light blue, whether it's orange or you, maybe you want no flag at all. The default is to have no flag displayed at all. So this is a way to give you a visual clue as to which company file that you're actually in. A couple of other changes that they've made in QuickBooks 2013 R4 is on a lot of the forms and the transactions, they've made some of these screens wider, they've made some changes out here, um, they've gone through and done a lot of tweaks and updates, and actually there's been a lot more changes in both R3 and R4. And right now the R4 update is a manual download, so if you want to install this now, you need to go to quickbooks.com slash support, so go to the support homepage quickbooks.com slash support and you can come in here let me go ahead and go back and show you you click on updates and downloads and you can come in here and make sure to choose the product that you're using I've got QuickBooks account in 2013 click update to manually download and install this update now next week this will be an automatic update from within QuickBooks and it'll prompt you to install it if you want to see all the details of what's new in 2013 or R4 update is go ahead and click on that and then you could click here on the R4 update and you'll see there have been a lot of little different changes and improvements and, and bug fixes and things like that. They've gone through and done a lot of things um, in R4 so you can go ahead and do that. One of the other things that I might point out to you is Windows 8. Um, QuickBooks 2013 R4 is now supported with Windows 8. However, if you read in here, there's a few things that still don't work quite right with Windows 8. So if you scroll down and click on known issues, you'll see that there's still a few issues with emailing forms, your previous bank rec reports, as well as saving as a PDF. So those things still are not quite working with Windows 8. Um, and right now only 2013 R4 is supported with Windows 8. So I hope this has been helpful to give you a quick overview of some of the changes that have come out in the R4 update. Thank you for watching.